Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you the Frankenstein house. It is called the Frankenstein house because I primarily focus on using one pack per bedroom or I do my best to, I say about 75% of the upstairs living spaces is definitely just one pack with all of their items and it's actually really hard to do because I have my favorite items that I love to use in all of my builds and for me to not be able to use those items except downstairs which is really large and expensive again this is a mansion I love building mansions they take a very long time to build but I love seeing the things that you can do in the Sims 3 with when you get new items now that, that is out of the way how are all of you guys doing I have done my nails so much over the past couple of like weeks. I post most of the pictures on my Instagram. You can follow me there at star underscore kells double L double R with a Z, all lowercase. Again, you can always just click in the link in the description box and it'll take you right there. Um, but other than that, let's just talk about some things going on. So, the new season of Queer Eye has come out. All eight episodes, I binge watched them in two days. I absolutely love Queer Eye so much. It just really, like, makes me want to, like, sit down and think about my life and figure out a way to make it work. Like, I was in a really dark place for the better part of July, and I wasn't, I was aware that I was there, but I didn't want to acknowledge that I was. And... I kind of slowly started acknowledging it on my way to work, and when Queer Eye came out, a lot of the themes in Queer Eye is dealing with, like, your confidence and your self-esteem, and, like, I'm a very confident person. I would like to think I've been through so much crazy stuff over my life, and I feel like I've built up quite enough to be okay, but sometimes, you know, when you're confident for so long, when you're strong for so long, it, you don't talk to anybody and you just tend to bottle it all up inside and it's really important to like reach out to people and just let them know you're not doing okay and that's what I did like my best friends and all of my friends have been like super supportive and super nice to me and like just shout out to them um but also Into the Spider-Verse is on Netflix um I was not able to go see it in theaters. My finances did not really allow me to. So I was just going to like, you know, rent it on Redbox and it came out. But then it came to Netflix. And of course, as soon as I saw it, I had to watch it. I think I had just gotten off of work, um, my night job, and um, just was trolling Netflix. Because at the time, YouTube was just not working on my smart TV for whatever reason. Don't worry, it's working now. So... But Into the Spider-Verse, oh my goodness, love the, oh my god, I just love that movie so much. Like, I wish I could have seen it in theaters, because it was just such a heartwarming movie about, you know, just, like, being Spider-Man, and, like, how hard it is to be Spider-Man, but the most important thing is you have to get up. Like, can you get up? Can you continue the job? Even when you are beaten into the ground, when you are just, like, I don't want to do this anymore. Can you get up? And, like, that's the most important overarching theme I got from Into the Spider-Verse. Like, oh, my goodness. It was just, like, it's so crazy because, like, in the world that we live in now, it's almost easy to give up because, like, um, most people have someone there that can, like, kind of sort of, like, clean up their mess or, you know, just tell them, oh, it's okay. Like, you don't have any, like, pe you, know, you know, your friends are supposed to be, like, you need to get it together. Come on now. Like, find, you know, you can do it. Find that strength. Find that energy. You got this. And I'm very fortunate to have people who are like, okay, now, I understand, but we got to work. You know, like, we, we got to we gotta work. And that's what, you know, Spider-Man, like, you know, I watched it, or like, when it first came to Netflix. So I had completely forgotten about that whole overarching theme until I watched it like the day after like all of my depression had finally caught up like I said in other videos like I was crying on my way to work that's when it all hit me like wow oh my gosh and like I came home 
and you know, I cleaned my house, and then like after I cleaned my house, I sat down and rewatched Into the Spider Verse, and it really hit me. Like I started crying while watching Into the Spider Verse. Not even at like the sad parts, just like when I realized that the theme is you have to get up, you have to fight, like you have to do this. Like there's no no one else can do this. Only you can. And it was just, even now I'm like, I got this. I can do this. Like, just remember, you know, anyone can wear the mask. Anyone. And it's just so crazy. And it's so like, it just like really hit me. But let me like talk about the build a little bit. Okay, so this build, like I said, is the Frankenstein house. It has like rooms that have, um, you know, focused on certain packs that I had which would be the new three ones that I have, which would be high-end law stuff, master suite stuff, as well as, I believe, university. I want to say university. Yeah, university. Um, I had already done a house based on university, so it was really just focusing on high-end law stuff and master suite stuff, as well as generations I focus on in this build as well. And then, um, what was another, I focused on one more other pack. I can't remember. It's been a minute since I built this house. I say that, but I literally just had to go back and take screenshots. And while I was sitting there taking screenshots, my house did not feel a hundred percent complete. Like at the time it felt a hundred percent complete. Like it felt like, okay, good. I've done everything that I could possibly do in this house. Awesome. And I ended up started working on like other projects and and then I came back to this one because I'm like, oh, I, got, I still got to get this out. I still got to finish this. I came back in, almost hated like 10% of it. So I ended up reconstructing um, the fancy box downstairs. And instead of them having the very small like outdoor living space, they have a lot more living space. They have actual um, car garage. It's not even a garage. It's like a car, like a cement carport. That if you were to, like, renovate this house, you could turn it into a garage, but we're not going to do that. I'm not about that life. Um, and so there's just a lot more outdoor, like, activities you can do now before, like, it was literally just like, oh, we're going to go sit outside and grill and we're just going to sit outside and eat. Now there's actual, like, areas for the kids to play. Like, there's um, beehives here so you can beekeep, collect honey, which is actually a... One of the ways that my amnesia sim, um, the female protagonist, who is me, so Star, um, but I named her Star, <laughs> funny, um, actually made money. Like, she would go to the elixirs and sundries, like, shop and collect that honey, turn around, sell it, and, you know, make a profit off of it. So you have that here. We have a seesaw. We have trampoline. We have a jungle gym. We just have like a lot of stuff to do more outside. I landscaped a little bit. You'll see that in the screenshots. Again, like like when I thought this house was done, I stopped recording. And then I went and worked on other projects and I didn't come back to this one until I'm like, wow, this house is still here. And funny story about this house. Like I was in the save file with this house the entire time, but I couldn't find my house like at all. I couldn't find this house at all. So I went through all the other three saves, because in The Sims you can have like up to four saves, and then you know you just change active households within that save file, you know at you know will. I couldn't find it. I'm like there is no way that this house just disappeared. Like and then like to add insult to injury, I couldn't find the screenshot. Turns out I was looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Spoiler, I'm an idiot. But I, when I finally found it i'm just like oh my goodness i did this wow it's crazy and i did have to add like a couple more touches here and there just to, like really round it out and bring it all together and i'm so proud that i didn't upload it when i did because it would not have felt complete like i would have watched it wanted to take it down and completely just redo the whole entire house you know because quality content am i right guys yes so but like I said, like if you can find everything that I kind of changed from the video to the screenshots, do leave the timestamp down in the comment section and just like let me know you pay attention. You know, just be like, call me out, be like, okay, what did you do? We see this. What? 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 But um, in this house, I did use the kitchen blueprint 
Um, for those of you who don't know, blueprints are just like rooms that are already pre-built that cost a certain amount of simoleons. I chose the most expensive one. I think it was like 25000 I really liked it. It fit the theme of my house, like downstairs wise. It flowed really nicely. I ended up taking out a wall, however, and putting a bar in there because I felt like, oh, okay, if you're like coming over and entertaining, you could have like some, you, you could be like mixing drinks and people could be sitting at the dining table which is literally right next to a full-size bathroom. I put a full-size bathroom downstairs because I didn't know what to do with the space because I already had an office. And I'm really big on bedroom to bathroom ratio in real life. However, with The Sims, you can kind of get away with it a little bit because your Sims, you know, you, t you, they, you send them to school, they eat, they'll use the bathroom, stuff like that. See, but that's what I did. <sighs> but... All that being said, we have quite a few screenshots in this one because this is a very, very big house. I struggled so much with the wallpapers and the flooring. As a matter of fact, I ended up changing the floor. But here come the screenshots. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like what you saw in this video, please hit the bell icon so you're notified of all my upcoming builds and go watch some of my old ones. Definitely uh, check out the description box. You can find all of the links to my Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as follow my brother. He is still trying to be a Twitch affiliate. He is so close. But thank you guys all so much for like just hanging out with me and just being as amazing as you guys are. And check out Spider-Man into the universe, or into the multiverse, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Toodles.